Today we're at AEV's production headquarters. We are checking out some of the coolest vehicles they have to offer. It is an open house. Let's jump in and check them out. <laughs> Locked. <laughs> Wrong door. <laughs> All right, guys, first walking in, we have the AEV Classic Edition 370 package. So check this thing out. Got some 35s or 37s on there. I can't really tell. I'm a little bit far away, but got some white AEV Salta wheels, all the retro graphics. First time I've seen one in person. So this is this is really, really cool. I kind of a good heritage to some of the retro styles. Now here's kind of the original, what I'm used to, the AEV Brute. This is what I used to look at in high school and kind of gawk over in the four-wheel drive magazines. This one in the showroom actually shows all the kits. So basically half of it is finished and then half of it has all the kit components but they were the first to turn a tj into a truck this thing is absolutely killer and i've never been able to see one of these up close like this i'm sure it doesn't move too much and it's just sitting here in the showroom but really need to see all the work that goes into these and plus kind of half finished half half undone yet or showing what the kit includes really really cool there yeah this is one of the this is the brute so this is the brute double cab so basically a four-door jl or no four-door jk truck so this is what initially they came out with to kind of design it and basically cut a jk right here and add a bed so this looks like the Gladiator is because it's the predecessor to it. So if Jeep got some ideas, it's from these guys right here. All right, guys, we're walking out to the shop. It seems like it's just about closing time. So we've got a chance to check out all these beautiful vehicles here and this absolutely massive warehouse. This place is insane. So we've got Gladiator, Gladiator, JL, Hemis, 4Xes. It's like paradise for me. So let's walk around and take a look at them. Now, if you guys don't know who AEV is, they are American Expedition Vehicles. And they were founded in the late 90s, early 2000s out of Montana, and they were built out of necessity to create a product that exceeded all expectations and could handle the backcountry of Montana as well as get you home safe. So if you guys don't know who they are, taking a look around today at their open house where they had wine, beer, drinks, food, everything provided and all these great vehicles on display. They are a great company that really stands behind their products. I sell a ton of their parts in my full-time job and just looking at both of these behind us with these 392s. If you're gonna trust anyone to chop apart your vehicle, I guarantee it's the guys that have floors you could probably eat off of. So a lot of these behind me are full upfits. They have different packages that you can choose to add on to your vehicle. So basically what you'll do, you come to the dealership like the one I work at, order your vehicle and then ship it here to AEV. They'll completely upfit it, get everything dialed in exactly the way it should be, and then get it shipped right to the dealership and back to you. You can also just buy parts as far as kit components. I actually picked up a tire deflator by AEV today, but you can buy each of these kind of piece them together or you can do a once and done build that you can finance all in and get everything backed up by I mean what we're looking at today so great vehicle a great product and something that's capable of getting you out there getting you back and doing it comfortable throughout the week so one of the coolest ones I've seen here is the Gobi Rubicon 4xe you don't see too many in the Gobi and you sure as sure sure as crap don't see too many in the 4xe variation this one has been completely upfit gotta say i'm not really hating the blue accents on this as well so you got bumper you got the full kit on this i'm very impressed by it so i gotta say on the 37s and the way this thing is lifted up it just looks absolutely perfect i mean this is a great looking jeep it's unique because it's a 4xe too so saving a little bit of gas and also getting a very capable vehicle now the bumper situation for me is a little bit unique because there's about two and a half million different options out there this aev rx front bumper i am a huge fan of the stubby but then when you start to talk to some of the techs and the engineers here and really get into the nitty-gritty of how these are designed the lights they put on all the capabilities as well as the stamp steel on here the integration of the fog lights it just goes on and on with how capable these are how nice they are and even some of the little features like putting a foam pad here in case you have to kneel up on there to work on your engine bay this one might be a big contender especially with the fact that not on this particular jeep but they have a front camera relocation mount so that's the big problem with the tube in the front you normally have that blocking your front camera this one they actually have the front camera relocation we'll show you one on one of these other ones but this is an absolute awesome bumper especially tucked nicely with that worn xeon no fitment issues no cutting issues it's completely plug and play this one might be up to bat pretty soon or who knows maybe i'll just send my whole jeep out here and let aev take care of it because after seeing their shop i mean you guys would probably let them take care of your jeep too so everything mounts up on the front here the front camera as well as the washer it all tucks behind the plastic very nice and clean this is the way it should be done and that's the way aev does it all right guys so they do have one of the gladiators up on the lift this one i believe has the two and a half inch suspension it's neat to see all the work and bracketry and geometry that goes into this. Now Charlie's been up a lot of times and I've seen some of these in person but it's really cool to actually take a look at them up on the lift and see all the tech that goes into one of these builds. So I know this is kind of a Jeep focused channel. We like to throw Broncos, all sorts of other vehicles. This Colorado ZR2 Bison is kind of the epitome of a great daily driver but an extremely capable off-roader. If you guys look at the rock rails down here they're pretty bashed in. 
buttons so you can tell this thing has been used but it's ready to get out there with the AEV snorkel as well as the go fast camper setup which completely pops up and gives you so much room up there I like I said I'm a Jeep guy but some of these things just it's cool just to look at all the engineering and tech that goes into them and I got an appreciation for everything off-road they've got three vehicles here that one's the White Lake Township Police it's Gladiator the Oakland County Sheriff Patrol and I believe that one's Milford back there it's a Ram 1500 these are really really cool that one started as an overland so it's probably more of just kind of a daily driver you know obviously it's got the patriotic the flag on it that one looks like it could be used though so that one with the sheriffs and it's got all the lights on it and i think it actually is being used in service because it's got all the lights and everything ready to roll on it so is that milford one back there here's another one of the ones we like i had one at work the prospector xl on 40 inch cooper stt pros this one's actually a mega cab with the standard size bed the mega cab is monstrous so you can recline the rear seat fit all your buddies in there four aev i think they're 1000 or 7000 series lights up front and then a worn 16.5 cti to pull you out if things get a little bit sticky in a set of 40 inch tires i haven't seen them in the patriot blue with the red pinstriping a very cool color combo and that's the kind of neat thing by coming out here you get to kind of taste and see a little bit of everything so guys when i tell you you shouldn't drop your jeep off with just anyone and you shouldn't buy parts from just anyone if you look back here the entire row of wranglers gladiators dodge rams just ready to roll this place like i said is literally so clean you could eat off the floors and i'm sure it's not because there's an open house tonight you've got warehousing for all the parts all the vehicles tucked inside here all brand new lift bays alignment machines machines, a paint booth, a professional photography area. The list goes on and on and everything is just done so well. It's kind of relevant to how the vehicles look when they're done. I would expect nothing less from this facility. And honestly, I'm, I'm, I can't bring it up enough. I'm just blown away by just the overall cleanliness of it, the overall quality of everything, but I shouldn't have been surprised. And you guys won't be too either if you buy any of their products or get a whole bill by them. All right, guys, well, this has been a good time. You know, we kind of came out here on a last minute basis. We ran all the way out to Michigan to check out the AEV open house. I haven't seen the place where they build all these vehicles and all the parts and I got to say after seeing it I'm not only impressed but I'm more impressed than I was just seeing all the parts that we typically do back at the shop on some of our builds now this has been a fun one there was an open house we got to see an old friend come out and just hang out so if you guys enjoyed this type of video definitely like and drop a comment below we plan on going ton of the events so if you guys see us out and about stop by and say hello until next time I'm Matt from Dirt Road Cred get out there and earn yours